Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if this is your first time seeing my face. My name is Aisha and this is going to be a very, very exciting episode of Tea Time with Aisha. I'm so excited because one, this is my first episode and two, my first guest is going to be somebody that I'm like, whoa, I can't even believe I have him here. I met him like, what, 2020? And since then, I've just been following his journey and, you know, really, really proud of everything that he's done. And I'm so happy and excited to get the opportunity to know, ask him questions and get to know him better and share his journey with you guys. So without further ado, we have the one and only Manny Wells. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, introduction. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Doing well. Doing so I'm your first guest. You are my first guest. That's mine. Dude. Yeah. So first and foremost, like, let's run through how we met. Do you remember the video? Yeah. Yes. That's when we met. For a million. Yeah. Featuring Wale and yeah. who? Who reached out to you? Ida. I was Ida. Yeah. So Ida. Ida's my mentor. Also, like big sister. Love her. I've been friends with her for a while, and I don't even know. Like I can't remember the specifics of how it happened, but I just know that I was working with her a lot at that time, and she had referenced me for something else that I was working on. And then when she was like, "Hey, yeah, there's this artist like about to shoot a music video. Like, would you be down to be in it?" I was like. <laughs> one like, a video vixen to you and she was like it's not like that honestly like i think it'll be a really cool like vibe somebody will reach out to you and you can just go from there and i was like okay and i'm so happy that that happened actually yeah. because it was yeah. so fun it was fun and do you remember i had an exam that day <laughs> you did bro thank you wow I exam wow. that day and i was so stressed because like this was during like the pandemic online school and everything so i was like oh my god okay i think i can make this work. i think you, you passed i did know. alhamdulillah oh my okay, god i did you. i did i did but i was so stressed yeah i was so stressed imagine god forbid but it didn't happen so imagine I, you failed because of money once <laughs> my mom was even abusing me that day like she was yelling me she said video video come on study oh no Bruh, no but that was such a cool experience and yeah like, yeah and then you also had paul in that video who paul you remember I'm on. it's the fact that i remember the video more than you You remember more than me that's insane yeah <laughs> but i feel yes. like yeah you had him in that video were you in that video no i beep Hmm. It was Paul and Habib. How do you know Paul? Um, uh, he's like he... social media. Yeah. I think I saw his skits and I just reached. I think I reached out and then at that time I was making like music. I was like, oh yeah, just pull up to the studio. And then he came to the studio, listened to new music. And then we've been cool ever since. I think that's like the power of social media. Like... The world is so small with yeah. it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you have access to virtually anyone. Literally. Literally. And I think that's so cool. So I guess kind of going with that, like you had Wally on that. So mm -hmm. how was that? How did you get that? How did I I asked him? He, he was just like, yeah. He's like, yeah. Wally Wally hit me up in like twenty eighteen. Okay. And it was like, I like your songs, I like what you're doing. Let's work. And I was like, bet. And then I was planning to go to LA mm -hmm. two weeks from when he hit me up. Mm -hmm. And so I just hit my people up and I was like, I think I gotta go to LA. And they're like, yeah, go to LA. So I said, I'm actually about to pull up. What's the Addy? Send me the address. Just like that. We're in the studio. We did Love and Loyalty. We did like six songs. That's crazy. I was just there. We're finishing up the project, the album with them. And then we that's how we became cool and then just kept building relationships. So a few years later, I was like, who could we put on this? And like, Wale, I just texted him, I need a verse. He, he was in the pandemic, he came, he flew. He was already in the area, but he was like, okay, now I have more of a reason to come. So he mm -hmm. flew back home, because he's from here. Mm -hmm. And then he cut the record in front of me. And I was like, that's say insane. less, that's fine. That's Thank insane. Yeah. That was a good one, because yeah. that song, like, because you know the thing is, I had been in a music video before, right? And like, I was like, oh, that was cute. Yeah. And so when I show my mom this one, she's like, ah. <laughs> Official. Official. <laughs> you know when it gets the parents' approval, mm -hmm. it's a yeah, good one. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good one. It's but there's that like music video. Exactly. Uh, so, Very much so. They were feeling it, and the fan was feeling it. And I was like, okay, like this is a new sound, definitely yeah. for me, because 
I feel like it's a bit reminiscent of like jazz. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. like a new wave of Afro beats, but yeah. like very calming. And I was like, bro, I love this. I love this. And I can't Thank wait you. to see where he goes. And look at you. I, I like you're trying. just making waves. Like, trying. And now you've gone to Nigeria as of like three months ago. I mean, a month ago. A, it's been yeah. a month ago now, right? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. Time is flowing. That's insane. That's insane. That is so, actually crazy, yeah. Walk me through that, because I remember coming to your listening party for your last EP. Mm-hmm. What was that, November? October? Yeah, uh, I don't remember. I think it was like November. It's, it's like, you remember what I said? <laughs> I went to your listening party with me and my sister. October. October? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Went to your listening party, and you were talking about how you want to go back to Nigeria, mm-hmm. and it's been difficult. So kind of talk me through that, because there are people that don't know anything about DACA. They don't know anything about... Yeah, yeah. So, like, let us know. How's that process so, been? So, the the process is crazy. Take it back. But DACA, mm-hmm. DACA stands for Deferred Actions for Childhood Arrivals. Mm-hmm. And it pretty much grants people like myself protection from being deported. And it allows us to stay in the country to work, pay taxes, do all of that thing. All of those things. But un, um, there's something called advanced parole. That if you get advanced parole, you could travel for humanitarian purposes or work. And so... Music being my work, Mm -hmm. um, I had been trying to do my show in Nigeria, do shows in Nigeria. So we first applied like last September officially. Okay, rewind. When I went on tour with Jadena. Mm -hmm. Hey, look how you just sprinkled that in. Hey, daddy's daddy. (laughs) We're going to circle back to that. (laughs) When I went on tour with Jadena. I couldn't go to Canada. I couldn't leave the country because, um, because of Uncle Trump. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, because okay. he was trying to get rid of DACA okay. as a whole, but he couldn't. And one of the reasons why he couldn't is, is even because of me, because they did a like a a doc on like my story and mm-hmm. stuff. And so my story was actually presented to the Supreme Court and all of that stuff. And it was myself and I think five other people. Okay. So because of that, like they kept docking, they're like, it's not a, it was a whole thing. Wow. But he took away advanced parole, okay. which was supposed to allow us to travel. Okay. Anyway, the guy is going now, so he came back. So advanced parole is now it was back, or okay. he's back, and I was like, okay, the audience is a lot bigger than when I first wanted to go, mm-hmm. and I know I got people in Nigeria that want to see me. Yeah. And so we applied, we went. It was amazing. The show sold out mm-hmm. in an hour. Sheesh. It like. Yeah, so that in an hour, and then when we announced, when we opened up more tickets, mm-hmm. by the time I announced more tickets, it was so dumb. That's insane. And I was like... That's insane. Damn. It's like you're living on a high almost. Like, yeah, that's insane. I was like, whoa, what is going on? But I'm really grateful, man. That's so good. Yeah. And I know, like, you saw your dad. So how long had it been since you'd seen your dad? 14 years. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. 14 years since I saw my dad. And that was... That was that was probably the highlight of my trip, honestly, because yeah. I, I really got to see my dad and we had like a lot of, we had good conversations and it's just interesting to see, see him age as well and mm. just watch me be, we're like friends now. That's, yeah. that's what happens though, because yeah. I, I say this to my siblings all the time, you get to that point where you realize that your parents are just people, Yeah. right? Yeah. Your parents are just people and that's what kind of helps you decide am i gonna have a relationship right like a relationship right. with this person right. and i'm so happy to see that that's happened for you oh yeah. my god okay so wait can i taste the tea please taste the tea it's getting cold you should honestly because me i've been sipping my own because all right, are said, you gonna judge it <laughs> i said if this tea was nasty i was gonna tell everybody so I did <laughs> <laughs> nah, did, did you taste it uh-huh. So if you say it's not good, that's your business. I could even tell you guys what it was. It's um, well. You try, you try. try. It's ginger. She tried honey chai. Ginger, yeah. Yeah. Smoked the chai. Yeah, it's ginger honey chai. Like one thing about me, I love a good ginger tea. Like y'all know this, ginger honey tea with some dates. It's a good time. It's a good time. You try it. Small, chocolate. I get it. That's yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Let me not even give them. It's good. It's good. It's good. I have good tea recommendations, guys. Hmm. Okay. Good tea recommendations. Try it. Try it. <laughs> so, 
I know for me, the first time going back to Nigeria after not being for, there for so long, it was a shock, but like also felt very comfortable. Like I was like, bro, everything is like the same, but different at the same time. So for you, what was that like, you know, being back after so long? Crazy. The biggest shock was not even what everybody talks about. Mm -hmm. The biggest shock was I saw horses on the road. Yeah. That was a shock. I was yeah. like, okay, no, this yeah. one I didn't see before I left. And then not long now. However, people need to stop making suya in America. Swear. I agree. I agree. I agree. Yes. I agree. It could never. It could, it, it could never. I'm could so never. sorry to it could never. all my aunties and uncles that have tried to make it. <laughs> but, yeah. Did you have shawarma? Yes. Oh, my Bro. God. We went Bro. to this one spot. We watched. Oh, we went to this one spot at like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. I don't remember. Is it Jay's Diner? I don't remember. We went like. See, why are you on IJGV? You know all the spots. <laughs> Me, I'm a professional Nigeria go back at, so. Yeah. He thought, he thought of. But now we had Shawama. Uh huh. Um, have you had a. Uh, Asun sandwich? Of course. Tosis? No, yeah, Tosis. It was Tosis. Bro. Tosis is good. There's this one thing called like boucher, and it's like Shawama but in Agiki bread. Wow. That sounds Have crazy. you had that before? Bro, it's you know. insane. It's insane. That sounds crazy. It's insane. That actually sounds yeah. crazy. I mean, like it's boucher. 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 The first time I had it was in C school. Do you know what C school is? No. Actually, before I talk about that, did you like how was like your education? Like did you go to school in Lagos at all? Yeah. Okay. To primary five or six, I don't remember. Really? Yeah, I didn't do. I didn't do. You didn't, you didn't get to secondary school. school. No. That's unfortunate. No. That's unfortunate. You did secondary school. I did secondary school. Damn, how is that? Amazing. Honestly Damn. speaking, I know everybody always talks about like, oh, I got sent back. Was, bro, like literally, that was character building. I. Oh, you got sent back. I didn't get sent back. No. Um, I lived in Nigeria before. No, yeah, for real. Okay. So I lived. I went. To, I moved to Nigeria when I was seven. Because okay. my sister, the one that you just saw, she had she like. You got sent back. No. <laughs> No, I'm not <laughs> back. She had a topic dermatitis, which is like a type of eczema or whatever when she was a baby, Sorry. right? A topic dermatitis. A top a topic? Topic. A topic. A topic. A topic. Dermatitis, dermatitis. right? Dermatitis. So it's a type of eczema um that babies tend to get. Mm -hmm. So when she was like not even one. She was like allergic to everything and she would get flare ups and Jeez. it was really bad. Like we couldn't even fry fish in the house, bro. No way. Like nothing. She would have a flare up and her body would be like scratching her, like itching her and everything. And you can imagine babies already cry for inconveniences. But now this, like you can actually see your child, like, you know, in suffering. Pain. Yep. So how was that fixed? So we went to Nigeria. Yeah. So at first, they were, yeah, they were using steroids here in America. You know, they'll put like the trimcinolin, the everything and yeah. nothing was working. So my parents made the decision to take her back to Nigeria and Ayurvedic medicine and ways just healed her. So Agbu, in other words, Agbu, 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 you know, yeah, and yeah, now you would never even know that she went through that. But that was something that was definitely like a big Agbu. deal for. Yeah. Agbu. Drink, Damn. bathe, breathe. <laughs> Everything. Oh, natural is where it's at. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. A thousand percent. A thousand percent. Um, so basically, she was already there for a year. And like, obviously, my mom, like, she was pregnant at that time. So she couldn't fly with her. So we had to stay in America. And then eventually, we ended up going there because she still needed to go through that treatment for a while. Yeah. And then my parents just decided, let's just move back to Nigeria. Oh, and wow. so I was there for like five, six years. Yeah. Came back to America and then stayed in America for like, let me see. I came back in like the seventh grade and then I went back after my freshman year of high school to Nigeria. To college? No, 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 no. I only stayed for like one year actually. Because I, I mean, guess to experience my mom. Tea. Yeah, but, tea. no, because the thing is, before I came, I was already in JS1, right? Okay. So yeah. like I went back to the same school. My teachers knew me. Yeah. My, yeah. my princey knew me, like my friends. Like I had already made friends and we were good friends. So it was just like falling back in some yeah. you know? And honestly best experience ever i'm taking my kids back to nigeria to go to school they have to experience yeah. i even did boarding school like you bro, did how was that bro best experience ever damn best experience ever it was so much fun and people that i'm still really close to today i met in boarding school at Manhattan. wow so, yeah that's what's up yeah so do you have any friends that you had back home like before you moved back to, moved to america or no e yeah, kind of. You were a kid, though, so. Kind of. Yeah. 
there's one there's one person that I that I actually saw. She came to my own. She came to my show. But my two the two people that I was closest to mm-hmm. it was her and then this other guy. Um but I, honestly if I even saw him, I don't know. You wouldn't be able to remember. Yeah. That. That's yeah. Fair. That's but no, nah, it was like I'm so glad I got to go home though, because Nigeria there's no it's place home. like home, no place man. Like home. I see that all the time. Would you move? Like, would you move? Uh, I don't want to be. I'm not. I don't even want to renew my lease in LA. Bro, I feel like there's been this conversation on social media as of late with a lot of people, like Nigerians and diaspora, saying like, "I'm ready to go back home." I'm one of those people. Yeah. I want to go back home. Go. I want to go home. I feel like life there's just so different, and I'm so much happier. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy. If you have money, it's easy. It's simpler. It's not. It's still not easy. But wait, did you stay on the island or the mainland? Like where did you? Island. Go? Okay. I stayed on the mainland. I said both. both, both. I did not stay on the mainland. I only went to go see my dad on the mainland. Mm. I actually have no business on the mainland. You know, it gets a bit rough. It gets a bit oh, rough. Went to Yanapaja. I went to. I went to the trenches, boy. Now you calling Yanapaja the trenches? No, not Yanapaja. Okay. There's. I went to Yanapaja, but mm. then there was one other place. I don't remember, but bro, it was. Here's my phone. <laughs> if I. See, I want to. Why won't I not? Oh my god. Oh, yeah. 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 Who is that? Oh, that's my cousin. So, Aww. my aunt, she's like, yeah, we're going to a Taylor. Mm. Yeah, that's right down the street. Mm. Boy, we was in the car for like an hour. Oh, no, that's the thing though. Legal traffic is insane. Oh, yeah. Tra- this, I would never complain about traffic. Yeah. I actually haven't complained yeah. much. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a rough cut. Like, <laughs> even me, I was just looking like, ah. I think I had, I had security though, but. Okay. I was okay. just looking left, right, boy. What I was going to ask you is okay, so like, maybe we not know this, but I feel like a lot of people do if they like follow you. Your dad was. Musical talba. Mm-hmm. So tell me about that. How did that influence, you know, or did it influence you? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. When I first moved to America, my first weekend, this man gave me the microphone to sing. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was not playing. Oh, wow. Was this in church or what? No, this is at his show. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my God. And I was like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, you're like, That's crazy. you're like nine and you're like, I don't want to sing. It yeah, Not but he, he did it, and then maybe like six months later, he just started taking me on the road with him, and mm-hmm. then I started singing with him. That's where I actually learned how to like crowd control, performance, communicating with people, uh-huh. like on the stage. Like a lot of that was from my dad, and then just one thing about my dad, though, he let, he let me listen to everything. Uh-huh. Even like, he let me listen to everything. Even sometimes when the bad stuff is on, I'll be trying to hide it. But he was he was never like, stop, don't listen to that. Mm. However, he didn't let me watch Harry Potter. Oh my God, that's every African yeah, kid. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that every one. African kid. <laughs> I one. didn't watch it for the first time until like a few years ago. I just watched it this year. Yeah, see. Yeah, and I haven't finished. But, so that's every African kid, please. But now nah, my dad was a big influence on like my music. Because I feel like he was the first person to really just support me as an as a singer artist whatever just musician shy. Mm. so he was the first to like really push me and i'm glad he did because yeah i think that that's really it. refreshing to hear because yeah. a lot of nigerians don't really get that mm-hmm. freedom to you know express themselves or go the path that they want yeah so you find a lot of creatives in nine to five yeah bit miserable and they project a bit but you know yeah. i'm happy that that's the case for you that's really nice and then yeah. so would you say your mom was really supportive as well yeah my mom was really supportive because she was supportive of him okay so okay. she went to she went through it with him when it was zero mm. like before before he even had like the big yoruba songs and the yeah. gospel songs before he had that she's always supporting him and so when it was my turn, it was just like, well. I mean, hey, monkey see monkey yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> monkey see monkey do. Really support. So, and then she's, she's at every show, at home at least. Aww. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Honestly, that's beautiful. She's seen it grow from... Was my mom at Twix? 
Yeah. Twex. Twex was at UMD. Mm-hmm. This was a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so fucked. I'm <laughs> trying. I'm trying. Let me try. See, no, but like that's all part of the beautiful yeah, story, though. You know. Yeah. Like you have to. Yeah. Like if you don't have an interesting come up story, like are you really that? You- right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So far. <laughs> So, okay, for you, what would you, what would have to happen for you to feel like, like I've made it? I've already made it. Alhamdulillah, I love that. I've already that's, made that's it. That's the answer I actually wanted to hear. I, I, I've already made it because, yeah. like, my life is changing each day. Yeah. I won the numbers. Yeah, don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the numbers and the impact, especially... Especially when I went to Nigeria mm. and I saw, I saw, wow, Jesus. Oh, gosh, Larry. Where did that one come from? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, Tabo, hey. Why keep it in? I don't care. You put it at the end. <laughs> and I sure, wow. Well, hello. I think in Nigeria, what's up? I came back, I came back home speaking PC on your back to this one. They're like, they're like, you good, bro? No, that's the thing, bro. And then you have to talk about the accents. Like, Nigerian accent is the most unique accent ever. Very unique. There's a mix of American and British Very and Pigeon. I met. Well, Brisky is the perfect example. Yeah. The Urs. <laughs> eh? The Slur. Er. The Pigeon. The. Dami Lurler. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Bro, I, I can't say this to your camera. Please. No, I can't. Nah. It's not right for the girl. No! No, it's not right for the girl. I gotta no. Now you have to share. No, no, no. This story shows that I'm already successful. <laughs> I have to tell your camera. Okay, but okay. I'm already successful because, mm-hmm. like, I get to do what I love every day. Yeah. And um, the numbers are growing and the fan base is growing. Yeah. And when I go places, I get a lot of weird looks. Like, it's just like... You noticed. There's no... Like, there's no way this guy's a giant right now. That's I'm like, great. yeah, I want to buy orange. Say hello. <laughs> but I, I, and then I can't just do that in Nigeria. The moment I tried that in Nigeria, it was like a... Everybody's like swarming you. Like literally, That's as soon as I walked out the car, all That's I was okay. like, oh my like, God. like six, maybe teenagers. Don't and I was like, hey, That's I'm crazy. Like, That's crazy. I'm, I'm so grateful. proud of you. I'm Thank so you. proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Okay, you. so... Okay, so you know, like... There are like different people. Like, if they told you they listen to this artist, you wouldn't be surprised. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you were to describe the person that this, listens to Manny Wells, like, who, who's that person? <laughs> I actually know this. <laughs> Manny Wells listeners are very eclectic. Okay. They yeah. like different stuff. Yeah. So they can listen to Basuma. Mm-hmm. They can listen to Maverick City. Mm-hmm. They can listen to Daniel Caesar. Mm-hmm. And then they can listen to Whiskey. Okay. Now, visually... Visually, I need that. Visually, if they are... If they are on the American side, mm-hmm. they like plants. Mm. They like... Uh, they're, they're spiritual. Yes, chakras, yeah, stones. Yeah, crystal. Yeah. Good yeah. And then, if you are African, you kind of like alternative mm-hmm. Afro beats, okay, yeah. Alter, yeah. but then you just like Afro beats as well. Yeah. If you're on Ibo, Duh. it's like everything. You know. <laughs> no, because like the the, the on, my on Ibo people, mm-hmm. they they like their flowers and their crystal and the boy, and then they would listen to Weezy, uh-huh. and then sometimes they don't even do any of that they just i just see them at the shows and i'm like hi what's nice up to see you, here. <laughs> yeah, you know so it's it's like it's cool because i feel like we're building like a really global we have a global audience yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i think that's beautiful yeah you too you be singing what was a uh, rema singing asia to mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no no bad. i'm so glad I'm, I'm i'm happy for rema yeah. and everything he's doing like he's he's sick I was gonna ask you, so if you could choose three artists to collab with, like your dream collab right now, like who would they be? Rihanna. Okay. Dream. Uh, you know what's crazy? What? 
they're all really possible too, which is which is why I feel like I'm successful. I love that. Like, I met my favorite artist. <laughs> you just look at your life sometimes and be like, what? yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's crazy. Oh um, my God. So Asha, okay, Rihanna, I love her. Oh my God. and Drake. I feel like Drake has to be a part of that, like the three. You know yeah. what I mean? He yeah. has to. But Asha and Manny would be mad. Like the way I love Asha. Are you kidding me? That would be dumb, insane. Hey. <laughs> this I'm impressed. So if you like, we can be saying he's doing, you know, that's their own business. Oh, I'll not tell anybody in the And then we're just eating. No, I don't. Get out. This is illegal. I yeah, know. Oh my god. Ah, I don't know. Mumu I even took cigar. She gave me my first cigar. I said, I don't smoke, but I'm smoking. When I saw my first cigar, you said yes. Yes. She said, You said you want some? I said, Yeah, let me try it. She started teaching me how to She started teaching me how to I said, No. Get yeah. out. That's nah, insane. That was, it was crazy. Oh my god, no. Crazy. Oh my god, that makes me super excited to see what's to come. Yeah. No, that is super exciting. Yeah, like. Now, you mentioned Jadena. Mm -hmm. Let's circle back to that because Jadena, Thames, Wale, I mean, the, they're just going up and up and up. The list continues. Mm -hmm. Walk us through that. Like. Jadena? Yeah. How did Jadena happen? Jadena happened first. Jadena is probably like. No, Mali Music was first. Mm. Mali Music, Mali is probably one of the most talented human beings in music. That's crazy. The guy is nuts. In the studio and on the stage. So he let me open up for him years ago. Mm -hmm. But then Jadena was like the first mainstream, mainstream person that was just like, yeah, you can tour, tour with us. And That's insane. Like, like okay. he just said that? Yeah, literally, because... He, my guy was doing a shoot for them, and my guy just kept playing my songs, and mm. his team was like, who's this? Mm. My guy was like, I actually have a shoot with him tomorrow. That's crazy. Oh, uh, he was like, yeah, it's Manny. And then he FaceTimed me, and I see this nigga Jadena, I'm like, can I Oh, my him? God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I see this nigga, <laughs> I don't know if I said it already. <laughs> I see him, and then I'm like, okay, hi, what's up? <laughs> He's like, yeah, man, good shit. And so... He, I saw that he he announced his tour, mm -hmm. and then I just hit up my guys like, yo, let's see if we get on the road. And so my mentor mm -hmm. got in touch with his manager, and his manager was like, oh, I'm actually in D.C. Let me come to the rehearsals. Omo, see how I mean? But I was shaking at the rehearsal, oh like, <laughs> sick, hit every note, dancing. This was on the best show. This guy was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we got to do this. That's crazy. And then the tour was crazy. That's when I really learned how tours work, because mm. by the time we toured, like, we all became, like, family. Like, everyone was cool and close. Um, management was cool. And there was no ego, any nothing like that. So they showed a lot of love. And then Dave been supporting my journey since, like, since then. Oh, so I love that. Yeah, and yeah. you know what? It kind of sounds like and this is this is why I want to have a show like this because it shows people like their highs and lows. You feel me? Yeah. And just kind of like the process and the energy you have to have. Like yeah. you are mad ambitious and like a little the Lulu. And I, I love that. A lot. <laughs> and I love that. So He knows. <laughs> I'd be I'd be like, you know what? I remember when I even said when I even said I'm about to leave school. Mm. I called and I said, bro, I'm about to leave school. He said, okay. I said, I feel like God told me to leave school. Wow. And then what happened? We just left school the same day. And that was just that? Yeah. And we really? Like, right, whatever. We're going to figure it out for a minute. Oh, my God. So, like, he, he, he wrote on five songs on the next EP dropping next week. Oh, my God. Wait, I'm so excited. Yeah, he wrote with me on Ooh Ah. He, then he wrote on Magic, like... I was doing the credits. I was like, see this guy. Well, just like popping just up, dead. popping up. Shoot, we might have yeah. to get you in. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to get you in one. Yeah. But, wow. So, like, at the end of the day, I feel like just being really, I, being delusional is kind of like the key to everything. You can't, if you're, if you're thinking no more, you can't do this stuff. You got to ask Jason, Jason, what did I say when I put up that meeting with you? What was my dream? What did I tell you we were going to do? Oh, my goodness. Bruh. <laughs> I literally was just like, I mean, I just have an idea and like we can work with these people and these yeah. people and like I mean like why not? Yeah. You just have to like be delusional. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, why not? 
Why not? Like literally, why not? And I look at you. And we still going. It's not stopping. Cause boy, these new records. I was playing in the car. I was like, you. I, I kind of want to like hear one after we get off. Oh yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll play for you. I need too. to hear that. Yeah. That's so exciting. Yeah. I want to house Thames, cause like you know I love her. I'm a fan. So, <laughs> I kinda, <laughs> so like, how is she? Everybody asked. Everybody literally asked about Thames. Do you know something? Like, She's like our Nigerian Rihanna. She, and I know, like, people always say that, and they're like, oh, where did you guys get that idea from? But literally, it's the persona. You know what I mean? So is that true? Like, is it giving that? Oh, yeah. Tennis is so cool. Yeah. So, like, funny to be around sometimes. Like, it's just certain mannerisms. And you know, some people just don't even try to be funny. and They just are. Yeah. Um, I don't know what she smells like, because people are always like, what does she smell like? She smells like... A good person. That smells know, with, good. With the uh, cologne or just a few or stuff, but she's cool, man. Yeah. She's, she's so talented. Like, um, when we did peace, we did peace after my New York show, mm -hmm. right before the pandemic, and I remember her cutting the verse, and I was like, "Oh my god!" She were gonna go crazy. This is too much. And the way she was able to cap, like everything she was saying. Is how she felt. Wow. Because she was on her way up mm -hmm. and everybody was pulling her. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, What the hell for No. Like, like that was just bad. It was crazy. She, as soon as she said that, I, was, I said, Well, I'm not changing any verse. I'm not changing anything. The song is done. That's it's crazy. Done mixes. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. No, so then how did you even get in contact with her in the first place? I messaged her in 2018 before she blew up. She had like a maybe. I didn't think she had 5,000 followers. Wow. I met her, and then we met in person in 2020. But I messaged her after her first song, Mr. Rebel. Okay. And I was just like, hey, I think you're a star, and you're dope. So that's it. And then somebody else was like, you should do a song with Thames. I was like, how do you know about Thames? Because this- Who would you want? Like, right. I'm like, I thought it was just me. But as soon as I met, I mean, as soon as I found out about Thames, I told everybody, I was like, Watch this. That's insane. And I remember people saying, Thames blowing up showed me that I was right. Yeah. That I was right about everything, every delusional thought, everything that I feel about my music. Mm -hmm. Thames blowing up right in front of me. I said, maybe right, like, when somebody's blowing up right in front, you hear about somebody blowing up, it's different. Mm -hmm. When they blow up right in front of you. That's crazy. It's like, whoa, well, like you're literally different. seeing it. I said, like, in the same house. Wow. That's crazy. That's great. That's great. I'm so happy you tell me this. Because I don't have the video scene. Oh, God. I have the video. Wait, no, you got to show me all these things afterwards. Like, I'm so invested. I have the video saying, like, hey, this is Thames. She's going to be one of the biggest artists ever. And then there's probably like four people that said, my fans are really nice. They say, ooh. And then she sang. Mm. And they were like, hmm. Mm. And then I lie to you not. Two months later, things just started like going off, going crazy, going crazy. It was crazy. You've met like a lot of people that are coming up or, you know, just have like a really interesting story. What would you say is one underlying, t underlying tone that each one of these people have to like reach that peak of success and that you've kind of like adopted as well or innately have? Because like there has to be that one factor. You feel me? Like a few factors that just... They have it. Most people are comfortable with the way they sound mm. because the way they sound isn't like everyone else. Mm -hmm. And for me, being Nigerian in America, yeah, and then I've been, I've always been trying to like infuse Afro and R and B and soul and hip hop for a long time. And so I remember when I just started making beats and making music and I dove right into it. But I remember getting pushed back like, yo, this is too African. I can't mm. listen to this. This is, why you sound like this? You mm. know, like, and then sometimes I'll be like, dang, I don't sound like Chris Brown. Mm. I don't sound like Trey Songs. But I didn't honest, I didn't know, I didn't realize that, um, that that was my superpower. Yeah. And so getting to, I started listening to people like Asha. Mm. And then 
hearing more people like Molly Music that didn't sound like anybody else. Just unique. Just unique. And I was like, maybe I just I could just keep doing my thing and be myself. And so people, it's always a tough journey for people like that, Mm -hmm. but they end up just loving their uniqueness. Yeah. Because, and it's also a gift and a curse, so... But yeah, most people just love their uniqueness and stick to it. And embody it and just like, yeah. that's really good. Yeah. I think there's this trend on social media about just individuality and yeah. is it dead or not. And I think that the key to just being successful in any field is being yourself. Yeah. But like, you don't even know who they are. So yeah, how, did, how did you find your sound? Like, how did you know, like, okay, this is just who I am? Because you have a lot of influence as well. Like, you have a, a gospel background mm-hmm. and you're African mm-hmm. and you lived in America. Yeah. So like, a lot of influence is there. I just kept shooting shots. Yeah. Just I'm, I have a lot of songs. Mm-hmm. I'd made a lot of beats. I remember one time I lost 500 beats at a time. This is maybe high school. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe this is senior year. By between 10th and 12th grade, I had already made 500 plus beats. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I just worked, worked. But it didn't, it didn't feel like work because I was just having fun. Yeah. You know, I was just, I'm making beats. I've always wanted to make beats and produce and making songs so when i started writing more songs and recording i was just recording right record 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 that's beautiful go to work go to class be mad i'm in class writing songs <laughs> like i'll be mad i'm in class <laughs> yeah just thinking about songs in class and then coming home trying it out and sing yeah so it's a lot of trial and error until you finally found until i song. found it yeah and do you feel like you found it or you're still like just developing because i, I found like, it yeah. but it's still it's still building because there's so much more to come. It's just a yeah. lot. There's, yeah. there's stuff that I, I work on even outside of my normal stuff that I'm like, dang, mm. the day that I drop this will be crazy. You know? Everybody's going to go crazy. Yeah. So, no, I wanted to ask this because, you know, sometimes for me personally, I know like I'll make a video and I'll have like a dope idea. I'm like, bro, I can't wait to drop this. Like, internet's going to go mad. Internet and it doesn't go mad. Do- <laughs> 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 the internet doesn't go mad. Oh, you got it like, okay. So have you ever had those moments where yes. you're like, I really like this song. Like, this is the song, but people are effing with another song. Not Absolutely. I mean, I'm delusional again. Every song that I drop is the hit. Mm. And I really, in the last two years, it's been like that. No closure. Oh, this is a hit. And then, oh, this one is a hit. And then, ooh, ah. But no, when I dropped ooh, ah, when I, right before I dropped ooh, ah, I was really like... Now it's a hit right there. This one's a hit. That's crazy. And then it started going crazy. Because me, I think I had to reach that point. Like, you know what? What y'all know? Y'all don't know nothing. Yeah, I'm doing it. But maybe it is just wrong timing. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. My time was coming. It's coming. coming. Drop, drop, just drop the video again. Yeah. Run it back. Run it back. <laughs> I'm about to run stuff back. Because first of all, maybe you didn't see it correctly the first time. Yeah, like, exactly. You didn't hear it right the first yeah, time. I'll go. Yeah, exactly. Go so this time around, I'll let you really let it sink in. Yeah. We're hearing. That's Ali. Anyways, you have <laughs> tattoos. How many? Uh, I saw it was just right there. It was like in my face. I was like, I'd never even seen that before. Seven. 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 For now. And I got seven, seven. and policy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get more. Okay. But I got all seven in like six months. Oh because God. I knew what I wanted. Okay. People just people don't know what they want, but they wanted tattoos and so they're going right rubbish. So like walk me through the ones we can see, I guess. Eight twenty eight. Okay. Romans eight twenty eight. All things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. And I finished it here, but it's too much to raise my hand. Okay. Can I watch my video if you want to see it? <laughs> For those who love the Lord and accord according to his purpose, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know my thoughts towards you, the good and not of evil, to give you future hope and expected end. Um, happy to be alive, because that's what ulala means to us. Mm-hmm. Ulala on the neck. Oh, wow. And then the cross on my neck. Yeah. I see that you're very connected spiritually to like your faith. Mm-hmm. How does that work with you know venturing into the music industry how like what does that do for you in that space oh uh, if you don't if you don't anchor yourself I'm on, you run mad yeah be fine. yeah well, that cool. hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah <it's true. laughs> like there's so much yeah the industry is the industry i just know i need jesus okay, okay. i need jesus in my life 
That's beautiful. And I need people, and I need good people around me. Mm. And I how know. do you like discern who's a good person, who's not? Like I feel like I have a really strong uh, discerning spirit. Okay. Maybe just for, just from spending spending enough time with God. Mm. If I don't, if I see that you don't really want to move, like the person I really like, which is Jesus. Mm. You can just do your own thing. I mean, day or day, 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 I gotta day, do my own day. Yeah, exactly. and so that's how I just make the, that decision. And I, I try not to judge quickly too. Like mm. sometimes maybe some first impression was they had a bad day mm. or something, but yeah, most of the time I'm right. There's so many times and so many people I'm like, this person is weird. Bro, vibes don't lie. They don't. Vibes really don't people lie. People just don't listen. Yeah, they don't listen to. Yeah. <sighs> and then. Two weeks later, you just hear something um, crazy about them, and they the show guys? you, they show you their true colors, and you're like, "Oh, I was right." So, yeah. would you say I'm coming back to a different question? But before that, would you say like with making friends in the industry and just like growing your network, are you more connected to those that you've known before you ventured into this space, or are you finding deeper connections with people that are on the same path as you, doing the same thing as you? That's a great question. I mean, think. tough. You're a lover now. Let me think. <laughs> yeah. I love the people that are truly my friends outside of music. Okay. Like, because they do not care if I make music or not. They right. just love me. Right. And some of them make music. Some of them don't. Some of them don't even, are not creative at all. Mm. But they just love me. And then... There are a few people in the industry that I've like that I continue to build with. I'm like, yeah, this is a really, really good person. And it might not even be on some like we talk every day, mm. but like like if I see Jadena today, we'll talk about everything. It's like a catch up. Yeah, yeah. like that's my guy. Yeah. And this is genuine energy since day one because of the love he's shown it. It's encouragement and advice and vice versa too mm -hmm. so you know people like that like you know even wale um all these people that just care about me outside of that's beautiful making songs yeah and, but it's just that music does brought us together yeah that's a good answer yeah that's a really good answer so you said something about first impression so what was your first impression of me i feel like that's a valid question though <laughs> your first my first impression of you Cause I can you, tell you mine. You were nice. Yeah. Yeah, you were nice and you were easy to work with because doing videos, man, I'm a, you don't know if this person like even really wants to be there mm -hmm. or like are they shy and like depending on the type of video, like consent, mm -hmm. like, hey, I'm going to touch your face now. Is that okay? Is that okay? You know? Yeah. And so, but no, you were just, you were just nice and easy to work with and then we were just cool. Yeah. I remember we just like. <laughs> Sorry. You're cool. Um, I remember we were just like cracking jokes that yeah. day. Yeah. It so. was a fun shoot. It, it was. was. Shoot. I think that's what made it easier for me as well. Yeah. Like my first impression of you is you were cool. Yeah. Because you know there are people that are just so full of themselves and think too highly of themselves, and that's very difficult for me to be in the space or an environment as someone like it's that. It's never that deep. It's really never that deep. It's never. That's one thing I'm learning as it like, as it gets bigger. It's actually not that deep. Yeah. Like, like even in Nigeria, they won't even let me carry my. That's Nigeria. Nigeria's different. That's Nigeria. That's different. I, we yeah. go to the store and let me carry my yeah, own. No, you know what I'm saying? I'm like. Uh, let me tell you something. The reason why I'm running back to Nigeria is because. Because of that. Oh, <laughs> this America's too hard. Like uh, America's too hard. Like I'm a princess and yeah, That's it's true. like. Yeah, I, I don't. I was, also, I was I, talking to someone big, uh, and he mentioned like how it's so different that ah uh, that he is the one that is going to buy toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Can <laughs> you like, imagine? Yeah, welcome to America, my guy. Yeah, no, it's insane. That's what we do here. It's insane. Like, yeah. When you come back to America, it's like a culture shock. You're like, wait. Culture shock. It's a culture shock, bro. Like, wait. Big one. You mean to tell me I gotta do this myself? Yeah. Yeah. I gotta pump my gas myself. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> driving myself? No, it's the driving myself one Dri for me. Ah. Driving oh my myself, goodness. bro. I didn't even think about driving. Nah. 
I got too used to it. Like, so yeah, that's crazy. But yeah. what I was gonna ask you is. <laughs> <laughs> oh god two questions two questions before that so you obviously you're getting so big and it's deserved and you have a lot of female oh fans. god stop no but it's fair enough what, 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 what do you call them that's what i want to ask you first of all what do you call your followers like because you know everybody has like their um fan fandom name right i think arasta how long is savvy girls or savvy something I actually right? don't have a I don't have a name for Oh my god, it. we need to make one. Keep, do have, Wait, I don't have an idea, but we need to make one. They need to put it in the comments down below. I mean, do you have any ideas? Nah. That's I remember I was on live one time and I was asking um I was asking for some names and somebody said uh somebody said um I think they said my my niggles. Huh? Something like that. But it was too close to my nigga. Yeah, it's too close to that. I said my nigga people cannot be cannot mm -hmm. be saying mm -hmm. that you get me. You know what? Actually I'm going to brainstorm tonight. Yeah. I'm going to brainstorm tonight. Yeah. Because we actually, actually, I feel like I'm there now. We need, we need something. But I want to, I want people to so do like. It. I don't want to be the one. To I'm, I'm, I'm people. Oh, yeah. so I'll think of things. Please. I don't know. I feel like something that goes along with ooh la or something like that, because that's really where, like I don't know. I love that. It's very stumped. You said what? Yeah. The Lala's. La I don't know. I kind of like that. I was thinking Lala something, Sha. That's cute. He doesn't like it. No, you got it. You have to. When, when you say that's cute, that means you're not really feeling it. Y'all could do better. We'll think. We'll think. We'll think. We'll think. <laughs> so you guys comment down below what you're thinking. But now I'm on to the other questions you don't want to answer. Oh, God. Let's <laughs> keep it. Let's keep it. I already know. Let's keep it. You said skip it? Yeah. Ah. But people want to know. They can you need, imagine? They don't need to know okay, that. how about this? How about this? You can just ask your. <laughs> you can just ask your tank. How about that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I when I asked you in the beginning of this thing, are there any questions that are off limits? And you said no. That means in the middle of the interview, you can't really be asking. You can't be saying stuff like that. I already know, so I, I'm gonna skip it. Oh, yeah, skip that call. However, time. I like. You know what? If you don't want to answer the question we want to hear, you can keep your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. I'm kidding. No, that's how your type. Um. Black. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I like I like my black women. Okay. No discrimination. Mm. Small but yeah. I like. Uh, I I always used to say this. Love Jesus with a big butt. <laughs> Somebody I love Jesus with a with a nice something, yeah. Okay, okay. And it doesn't matter like where they're from. Cause I know me personally. Niger man. Yeah. I know you want yeah. I just know. Yeah. See? Yeah. You guys bash Nigerian men. Who's you guys? You don't bash Nigerian. Okay, you have never bashed a Nigerian in your life. Okay, do you know what you it is? See, see, yeah, see realistically, yeah, see. realistically, let's actually yeah, talk about it. Okay, let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about it. Uh huh. Yeah. Who I'm, else is I'm gonna bash you? I'm the interviewer. Uh, but no, but like, who else is gonna bash you? Like, if not me, then who? I'm the only one who has the mouth to say that. It's like your mom insulting you. Like, yeah, that's my mom. You feel me? But at the same time, she'll still raise you up. She's not gonna do that in public. That's like, not love. It's love. No, Damn that's me. unfair. Da you don't see that one video on TikTok where she was like, I'm already a booty. I'm already a daddy. Mm -hmm. I, you don't see that. I believe Brooklyn is daddy. I believe that for your life. I believe that for your life. I believe Brooklyn is daddy. I believe that for your life. 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 It's our love language. Like, we have to insult ah, you. Don't insult me. We have to insult you. <laughs> Actually, you know it's so. A bit of banter. You know what is so funny? What? When like you, like you could just know when a Nigerian woman or Yoruba, especially Yoruba, is trying to flirt with you. Mm, yeah, just starts insulting you. Oh yeah. What not do she? What not do? Only run. Uh uh. Not throwing it all out there. Uh uh. Yeah, cause can't make your head smoke too much. Oh my Never. god, that's so Never bad. Never down a little bit. Yeah. Why don't you just tell him 
He looks nice. No, but there's there's a, a balance. Eh? A little no. more creamy. No, no. There's a balance. That's after. Then yeah, now, so I'll, I'll, I'll abuse no. you small. And then I'll be like, ah, oh, Lori me. But like the wrong guy could just be like, damn, she going on me. And then. That, that means you not really. That's true. Like that. that means you're not, so, really, you're not yeah. really built like that. Because, come on now. That's true. Yeah, so. True. But I don't even really bash them. Like, and But I do feel like we're the only ones that can really say it. Do you get Is that true? I don't. I don't really bash them. Not a lot. I don't really bash Nigerian men. Like not really. It's not true, I mean yeah. like just men in general, you know, just men in general. Okay. But like Nigerian men, I'm like, that's still my spec. Last last, that's still my spec. Yeah. Like, heard that, so you talk about them more. Yeah, exactly. What what am I gonna be talking about? It? Can I tell them? Yeah. So guys, she's in the, <laughs> she's in the movie, <laughs> and it's fire. I haven't seen it, but I trust you. Know, no, your no. pants is not good. Nah, my pants is good. But I'll do you know what? I call you. But do you know what? Let's. Uh, it's a village film. Disclaimer. No, no, there's no disclaimer. I I definitely pushed myself and challenged myself because this is like Iloki Yoruba. Jesus. It's not Lagos Yoruba. It's yeah. Iloki. So it's a so bit. It has to it's be. Skunk. Yeah. It's like you're almost speaking Igbono or something yeah. like that. So, and also we're in the village. Like I'm in a rapper. Okay, like it's yeah. it's very much like you. Truly, Aisha, who? That's her? Damn. You feel me? So, like, even, like, the, the lines. Yeah. Like, you have to memorize the yeah. lines. It's, I can't act. No, you could, honestly. I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe I can't. I don't want to. Really? No. You couldn't see yourself, like, doing it? When I was projects. younger, because that's what they were showing to us. But as soon as I started seeing the work... It's a lot. No. It's a lot. I'd rather produce it. Mm. Maybe direct it. Mm. Directing the movie is also intense. But I, I definitely want to score the movie, the music for movies. I think that would be so cool. Yeah, I want to make things. I think that would be so cool. Yeah. I think that, honestly, let me try to give you advice. Remember when we were on the phone that one time and we were talking about you going to Nigeria and I said, this is before I knew you couldn't. And I was like, bro, I think you need to go back home mm -hmm. like, and go collab with people and network because, yeah, it's cool. Like, it's nice to have your American presence, but really cement yourself in Nigeria. Really cement yourself in Lagos. Yeah. That is going to take you to the next level. Yeah. Like even Nera, like wasn't he in the UK at first, yeah. and then he moved back home. Yeah. And now you've gone back home. So what? I mean, of course you can't tell me too much. That's too much tea. But like, give me a little something, a little something. What would you say is the more, most fruitful thing that's come out of your trip to Lagos, aside from seeing your dad, of course? Hmm. The most fruitful thing mm. is building with my with my fans. Okay. We're building with some of them. Yeah. Cause not all I didn't get to like meet all of them, but like they really showed me that what we've been building is so, that I was right, and uh, we've really been building something. So, um, the fact that I got to go build with them was like I think really special and very thing. fruitful. Yeah. yeah. Just being there and just almost oh, there. Telling me to sing songs from like 2016. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. asked me for watermelon, <laughs> wrong place, like old songs, you know? So I'm, I'm really grateful for that. That's beautiful. Yeah. And you just had, you brought it back home, what, this was February, was it? What? When you came to perform in, you know, DC. Yes. Was that yeah. February? That was March. That was March. That was March. Okay. Yeah. So tell me, how was that? Because my siblings actually went to that concert. I was still in Lagos, but. Really? Yeah. So, Which ones? The one that you met before he met, oh, he was there. Okay, yeah, yeah. And my other brother, he was also there. Wow. Yeah. So that show was crazy. Yeah. When I walked out, I was like, wow. We're here. It's like full circle. Almost. Yeah, we're here. Sold it out. It was a lot of people. It was 1,200 people. That's insane. And then they didn't even let people in. Yeah, people can get in. Talk Why? To the it was sold out. Damn. Yeah. And that was just that. That was that was it. Oh my god. I don't even know what else to say to that. No, but like, how did it feel now? Because like again, I guess it was like full circle. So it's like wow, like we're here again in yeah, this space. Just, but it's like a bigger audience. It's a bigger audience, and they're there to see me. Yeah, exactly. I'm not opening up for nobody. This yeah. isn't like oh, good job, Manny. <laughs> like no. Yeah, I've got right, yeah, here. It's me. Yeah. That's insane. Like, yeah. bro. <sighs> me too. I want to have levels like <laughs> that. Like, what? I know. The news we just give them. That's true. 
That's true. Who's doing that? That's true. That's exactly. true. It's possible, it's possible. But, you know, it's like, I feel like when performing, right? Because mm-hmm. obviously you start off a small crowd and then it graduates and, you know, gradually goes up and up. What's the biggest difference between it? I mean, besides many heads that you see in the crowd, like for you. When it's intimate, it's really cool. You, do you when it's that? like 400 people, it's cool. But when it hits like, when it hits like over like 1,200 people, uh. like I can feel the distance uh. between me and like the audience at that show. But it was like, damn, this is what we wanted. And I love that I'm here, but like, oh my God, you guys are kind of far away. Uh. Which is the other shows where it's like, I'm performing and all 400 people are here. Wow. 400 is a lot of people. 400 is a lot of people. But it's still like, wow, these are my, like, we feel like Yeah, friends. you feel like it's intimate. But when it's bigger than, like, when it goes over, like, 1,000, 1,200, that's when you're like, yeah, it's crazy. It's such that a weird, crazy. people used to say it. People used to, I used to hear people talk about that. Mm-hmm. But then when I, when I had that show, that's when I was like, dang, they were right. Like, mm-hmm. Feels for, but I figured out a way to still try to make it intimate, mm. like the performance and stuff. Yeah. I heard a lot of good feedback. I'm, from the show, so. I'm happy. I lost my voice. I was sick. Mm. That was that was the last show on tour, mm. and so I'm just grateful. So I know you said you have something dropping for us soon. Yes. How soon? Next week. Next week. Next week, so Friday, May twenty six. May twenty six. Put in your calendar. Yeah. So are you gonna be dropping? I mean, doing another listening party like you did last time, so I think that was so cool. But we are doing a listening session. A listening but it's session. Gonna be virtual. Oh, okay. And I want everybody. We have a few cool things we're doing next week, but mm-hmm. the listening session is one, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna do a surprise something the next day. Oh wow! Okay, so it's like secret, secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because the name of the EP is called "Don't Tell Anyone." Oh. So like, you have to be. It's good. It's fine. It's yeah, cool ways to like. That's so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Okay, well, one of the things that a lot of people are feeling about your whole aesthetic is like your fashion. So, like, would you say that you're inspired by anybody or is this just all Manuel's? It's a little bit of both, too. <laughs> I just like, I like feeling good. I like looking good. Um, And I like feeling comfortable. Mm. I like being comfortable. Mm-hmm. If I'm not comfortable in these, I don't care how good it looks, I don't want to wear it. You don't want to wear it? Nah. Mm. Like, at most 95% of the things I've worn are comfortable. Mm. You do always look very comfortable. Yeah. But, like, chilling. cool. Thank you. This outfit kind of is giving, nobody, like, hate me for this, but it's giving Tupac a little bit. Come on, man. It is. Like, like, come yeah. on. Yeah, it's giving Tupac a bit. Like, cool. I, I, I feel Tupac it. Tupac is the reason why I wear it to rock, so. Really? Yeah, honestly speaking. Because definitely, this is like your staple look with the. Yeah. Yeah, you even did a tutorial the other day. Yeah. So, I'm trying to, you know, people always ask, like, how do you do that? Okay. Oh, shit, what's up? Now, your presence on social media is. People feel it. Like, it's so cool. I People feel connected to you and everything. And I think that that's like something that not a lot of celebrities, because th- you are a celebrity. <laughs> that's crazy. Right? How does that feel to hear that? I don't know. Man. <laughs> They just be making my songs. Yeah. No, but that's crazy. Not a lot of celebrities are able to, you know, really give that vibe on social media. It's mm-hmm. almost like they feel so far away. So what what is the key for you to feel connected to your followers on Instagram, online? Because I know you have a TikTok as well. Ah, you are so consistent. Like I wish It's God. Mm. Because like I I'm actually having fun. Mm. I think that's the key. I'm actually having fun making content. And the moment I feel like... It's not fun? Yeah, I'll stop. I think that's a good rule of thumb. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually having fun. Like, I enjoy coming up with ideas. Okay, let's have fruits in this. Let me just be eating fruits. Why mm. not? Like, why do I need to overthink it and try to... Just do what feels right. Fly off a building to go viral. Like, yeah. Just do everyday stuff. Like, I'm about to do skincare routine. <laughs> Like, I'm about to do my, you know what I'm saying? Just I love like that. Regular stuff. Yeah. Um, And I think people connect with that because that's stuff they do anyway, mm. every day. Mm-hmm. And so it's just that they're one of their favorite artists or their favorite artists. Feels a little bit relatable, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah, those give, I just give away some of the juice. <laughs> 
So with the juice. You're like, don't drink it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're here now. Mm -hmm. Five years ago, would you have thought this is what your life would have looked like? Yes. This, this is what you thought, right? Yes. And so five years from now, what do you think it's going to look like? I don't know. Wow. I don't You don't know? Because, like, I thought... I mean, as, an, as a creative, you think you're, you think you'd be somewhere mm, before. Because God's plan is the best exactly. plan. Exactly. Like, he's the best storyteller. Exactly. So. And so, now, I just tell God, I'm just going to do my part. And see what happens. And see what happens. Yeah. You, you'll do your own parts. I love that. That's a really good way to think about things. Because I feel like, as a creative, as somebody in that, like, industry, you want to control what you're doing yeah and you want to control the trajectory of your career but it's like at the end of the day man like you really can only do your part yeah do your best and leave the rest yeah i'm gonna start to like get back to that <laughs> yeah like yeah just do what i can do what i yeah. like and then just see what happens and do your part really, do your part really well yeah and not just like half ass it not like you should still plan for but, sure like even scripture uh, like proverbs says uh like committing your plans into the Lord and then he would direct your path. Mm. So like, you need to have a plan. Yeah, If you're saying commit your plan in my hand. God helps I mean, those who help themselves. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Even in James talks about like, faith without works is dead. That's one of my favorite scriptures ever too. Wow. Actually, I'm actually gonna- This boy is a real, like, it's not just for show. Like, he Yo, loves yeah, God. Yeah. I love, I love, I love that. I love that. I love that. That's bit. beautiful. And I think yeah. it's very refreshing to see as well. Because I think that in the industry, I don't want to name names because, you know. You have experience. Uh, no, not with me. I'm uh, saying like, just like online with like artists, specifically artists. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of play with the devil. Hey. Uh, issue talk. And I don't think you see enough people that are just glorifying and walking in his step and just yeah. feeling like, yeah, connected. It's real. Like preaching that, you know what I mean? It's real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Child. Oh my God. Go? That's crazy. So I think it's so refreshing to see that and it makes people comfortable with you as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're not going to have people saying, I don't want to listen to him because he like kind of like loves the devil. Like, no, he's ah. not. Oh, yeah. That's so That's crazy. Why like, well, would you know you know oh that can never be attached to my name amen i amen. love that i love that amen love that. well before we wrap up i like to do a little fashion segment because at the end of the day i'm a fashion girly mm -hmm. die so can you please give us an ootd it's not about me it's about you what does that mean <laughs> an outfit of the day what are you wearing walk us through it the thought behind it all of that this is all damn this is actually all thrifted oh my god the best outfits are thrifted this is actually all thrifted shirt is thrifted in maryland the jeans were thrifted in maryland these were thrifted in la are you kidding me those yes are so fire these are so like you can you can wear it to any you can yeah. wear it dressy but you can wear it chill like it's it's a cheat code i got it from the women's section wow yep i'm not scared to go in the women's section i think we can tell that you're very yeah like eclectic and then he one of the people that ever encouraged me to, I'd be like, bruh, it's for women. Like, you said, but who, who, like, who defines that, honestly speaking? Who defines that, realistically? Exactly. This is a, this is a fit. And so. And then your jewelry? I actually just got these from Nigeria. Oh, my Good God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The earring. I feel like you're so good Nigerian. fashion. That's dope. I love that. I was I staring at it. I was staring this at it. This is probably when I saw it, I was like, yeah, this is for me. I love it. Um... Thrifted. Wow. This fit is fire. Thank you. For real? No, well, like, that's why I was even like, okay, we need to talk about this at the end because I love it. Like, you yeah. just look, it, this looks like you. Wow. It's giving Manny Wells. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. I'll try it. Yeah. This is a good one. Thank you. Well, I'm so sad that our conversation is over, but All I enjoyed right. it thoroughly. Thank, like, you. thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Be my good first job on guest. the tea. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope the other people should try it. Well, I can't wait to have more people on and try it. But yeah. thank you guys so much for watching today's video and staying tuned to the end. Thank you so much for listening to our conversation. I hope you guys took a few things away. Um, I feel like this is really inspiring for me, honestly. 
as a creative, it was really good to hear a lot of the points that you dropped. So I love this conversation. I hope you guys love it as much as I did. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Ciao. Peace and blessings to you. I bring all that to you. And plenty more. So baby, can you please need sorrow? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your ex is not my equal. Thank you for me. If